What company will go out of business in the next 10 years? I'll tell you who will still be in business. That Persian rug store with the big ass, going out of business, sign in the window. I lost my job there Friday but Carvana. I hope it's Ticketmaster, never going to happen, but let a guy dream. Redbox. Every time I check a kiosk it's just full of a bunch of old movies. It seems the release to theaters then streaming killed the need to rent DVDs. Boston Market. Netflix's brick and mortar stores opening in 2025. What are the quiet luxury brands that only the super rich know about? John Lobb Bootmaker in St. James. Make beautiful handmade shoes for royalty. Celebrities and rich types. They are well known but not a household name. I had a rich friend once tell me that Gucci is what poor people think rich people wear. Since then I noticed that all of her clothes fit perfect. But she never has logos on anything. Tailors on Seville Row. Wealthy people get their clothes custom made. Jeff Goldblum was on the Conan podcast and talked about where he got his jeans. It was from this hard-to-find shop in New York that not many people had heard of. Come to find out. Not surprisingly. Their jeans are insanely expensive and only the very rich could afford them. I used to be of the opinion that really wealthy people wore stuff that you wouldn't really notice. But disappointingly. Having spent some time around folks with extreme wealth recently, the true answer is just whatever the hell they like. If someone really liked branded gear before they were wealthy, you'd better believe they're going to be dressed like Ali G once they make it big. Almost all of the well known luxury brands have several lines. The ones with logos all over them are typically the cheapest. I'm looking at ULV, Gucci, etc which is why they're so common. The same companies will have more exclusive lines that are much more expensive, usually more classic in style, and they're not covered in logos. So you'd never know what brand they are unless you're really into that kind of thing. For example, my wife wanted to buy me a nice wallet, so we went to the LV shop. I liked one that had no logo on the exterior of it. Just simple gray leather and it cost twice as much as the ones with LV stamped all over them. What's the most shocking secret someone has revealed to you? I'm 56 now but at some point in my early 40s while driving with my dad he says, you have a half brother somewhere. I found out my mother and father were not divorced. He never existed. She had a one night stand. Found out she was pregnant bought a wedding ring, changed her name, and told the family that she had gotten married. She made up excuses every time she went to my grandparents' house as to why her husband couldn't also be there to meet them. On the third visit my grandfather told her to never wear that ring in his house again. And when is the baby due? I'm 53. Casually dropped they'd killed someone then got really quiet about it. Like. Sad quiet. Sounds like there was a case surrounding the ordeal but could never get them to talk about it more. And I didn't want to push. I had an old girlfriend who was coming to Florida and wanted to hang out with me and my wife. She brought her mom, who I knew pretty well. A great dinner. Drinks. Fun stories. Then when my ex went to the bathroom, the mom told me she, the ex, was dying of cancer. I had number idea. It was sad, but yet felt so good she wanted to hang out. She died within a year. We were probably 35 years old at the time. My. 25F. Ex-fiancé. 34M. And I were having pillow talk in bed. It was really late. All the lights were off. And the window blinds were open. I remember staring at the moon and admiring privately how beautiful it was while my ex talked. He casually dropped how he molested his niece when she was three yo and how he got caught because she told her mom, my ex's older sister. He went on so casually. And all I remember feeling was my heart sink deep into the pit of my stomach.
and my adrenaline started pumping. Thankfully, it was dark, so he couldn't see my face as I reacted to what he had just said. He fell asleep, and I just couldn't. I stared at the moon for hours trying to process what he had just said. I couldn't shake the pit in my stomach, so I broke it off with him. That he watched his son die of an overdose and didn't do anything to help. He told me that his son had battled addictions for many years and that he had called an ambulance in the past when his son had overdosed, but that he thought it was better this time to just let him go since he made his choice. Manly men of Reddit, what girly pop song do you secretly jam to? If Toxic by Britney Spears comes on the radio, it's a good day. I want to dance with somebody by Whitney Houston, and it is not a secret. Kylie Minogue, can't get you out of my head. I think we're alone now by Tiffany only it's not a secret, I pump that shit. Pretty much any 90s or early O singers or girl groups. Britney. Christina. Pink. Shakira. Spice Girls. Pussycat Dolls. Dream. Etc. I wouldn't call Celine Dion or Paula Cole girly pop but they're women who are poppy and I like them. Very much. I'm a big black man from Chicago and I love, I don't care, by Icona Pop. Which person who died too early in life had the most potential? I'm going historical. Prince Arthur Tudor. He died aged 15, leaving his younger brother Henry to become Henry VIII of England. Arthur was apparently more of a scholar than anything else. Compared to his brother who was more into the idea of being a warrior king. Had Arthur survived and gone on to become king. Then global history would have taken a very different turn. Phil Hartman. Amadeus Mozart. While he wasn't terribly young. I'd say his true potential life was cut in half. Imagine what music will never be or where it could have gone had he lived a longer life. Srinivasa Ramanujan, probably the greatest mathematician that pushed modern mathematics at galactic speed, died only aged 32. Alan Turing, died for the worst fucking reason and what happened to him was a travesty. The world's leading AIDS researchers that got shot down in 2014. What movie was so damn enthralling that after it hooked you, it never lost your attention for even a single second? The first Indiana Jones movie, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Saw it on opening night in the theater. I had never seen anything like it. That opening scene with the enormous boulder. The gold statue. The natives. Balak. The snake. Wow. Apollo 13. Brilliant cast. Brilliant story that they cut, condensed asterisk juiced asterisk the right amount. Still holds up today. Silence of the Lambs. I went into the Matrix totally blind. I had no idea what it was about. Only the title of the movie. I was blown away. Also, I had zero entrance in wine. And a date took me to see Sideways at Art House. And I was like whatever okay. Now I'm into wine. I saw the devil. The departed. The last thing you bought is now permanently out of stock. How screwed is the human race? Oh, guys. I bought toilet paper. If the pandemic taught us anything, it's that the line between a civil society and absolute chaos is made of toilet paper. Prescription medication. Sorry everyone. Edit. Blood pressure medication. I had some Ethiopian food. So the world as a whole would be okay. Although with slightly fewer food choices. But Ethiopia might have a bit of a shock. Shit's going crazy I bought weed. I bought a pack of cigarettes so. The next little while is going to suck for a lot of us. And we're probably going to make it suck for the rest of you. I'm sorry. But after that. It'll actually be a lot better so. Worth it? Well sorry guys. No more stickers depicting aliens abducting Bigfoot. Having grown up money is a blessing and a curse. Subscribe my brothers.